So basically every genre you can imagine is pretty much in this game. From uh, the GTA style to games, missions that play like 80s coin-op games, you've got stealth, cover systems, swimming, side-scrolling, even rhythm. So it, it really just takes you all over the place. It's got the fun cameos and I really focused on mission variety so I didn't want it to just be driving from A to B and shooting stuff. I wanted to put it on Vita because everyone had just been screaming for a handheld version. The Vita was perfect because with the crossplay with uh, PS3, it just was such a perfect fit. Writing on code on the Vita to get tactical is way easier than PS3. So I say it's about four times easier than PS3. And so I didn't have trouble getting it on PS3, but it was four times easier on Vita. So that was very nice. But the screen is amazing. And so I have some fun with it. And so it can play pixel perfect and take full advantage of the beautiful screen. But it can also simulate things like the old Game Boy dot matrix LCD and things like that. So I really had some fun with that. Well, you know what Retro City Rampage really is? Is this that game that on the playground when you were a kid, you were like, wouldn't it be awesome if there was a game where you could do this and do that and do this and do that? And so it's the game where you can do all of that. Something I'm really proud of though, is that there have been a lot of games that try and cram a lot in and they come across like mini games. But in Retro City Rampage, everything is in the open world. So if you're doing a side scrolling thing or a water level, it's pretty seamless. If there's a mission that plays like an old 80s arcade game, it still takes place in the same open world with the same movement, the same pick up and throw mechanic and all of that. It, it is, it's about eight man years of work, I would say, and I'm the one man that's done most of it. So it's been a lot of work. It's been three years of full time and then part time many years before that. But even these past three years of work, it's been more than three years because I work seven days a week. So it's, but it's a labor of love and I wouldn't change it for anything. I mean, I loved working at other game companies, working on other games, tons of fun doing that. But it was time where I just had this game that I needed to get out of my system. And so finally took the plunge and I'm so happy. And no matter how much work it is, it's worth every, every bit of energy. It's, the game is done, just bug fixing. It's coming to PS3 and Vita as soon as possible.